Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. I think maybe I need to continue playing Central File Rook until I understand it. So that's what I'll aim to play today. Good luck. I forgot something. I always forget one thing. One second. My speaker is much too loud. That must be producing one heck of an echo. Let me fix that. Alright, so my opponent is activating their rook super early. Uh, I think I just bluffed them because this move order doesn't seem safe. Um, hmm. All right, so they've denied my option of playing Central File Rook. Or maybe it's still possible. Maybe it's still possible here. Let's try this. There's the Rook. There's my King. Um, maybe I won't put my king all the way on the edge. But yeah, have, them having pushed the rook pawn seems a bit scary. So, oh my. Oh my. Alright, let's move the king once more. And then try to figure out what to do about this. Um, hmm. This will be fun, right? How fun will this be? Um. <laughs> I'm not sure if this lance move makes any sense, but I'm trying to play a flexible shape while not knowing exactly what either myself or my opponent are doing. Uh, this blocks my bishop, but I think it's okay. Um, I don't have to answer that move. So, since the opponent's not going to do some crazy castle here and bring the rook over, I'm going to tuck my king in, despite them having pushed their edge pawn. And this will allow me to play Kimuramino, and bring up the silver, bring up the gold, drop the rook back, and push in general on this side of the board. I don't really know, however, neither of us really contested this area, so it'll be interesting to see what happens next. Um, there's me fighting for the center. There we go. There's the castle I promised. They have blocked their bishop. I don't need to push my center pawn, but it's not clear where else my rook would go. So I push the center pawn. This extends the influence of my rook at the slight risk of maybe being difficult to uphold this station. Um, Alright, well, since we're just diddling about here. I'll push my edge pawn. Now I need to stop their rook, and I do stop their rook. Now if I push this, they just drop the pawn back here, and that's no fun. Um, so here we have to get creative. Um, 
This is dangerous because I fear the bishop might use this diagonal. That is, their bishop might use this diagonal. But I'm at a loss for a different move to play. I cannot move this knight forward, but boy, wouldn't it be fun. But there's nothing to attack here. So... What would Not I achieve? Enough. Um... Hmm. Okay. I accept your offer. Uh, note, there is a silver drop back here, if I am careless. So maybe I should not be careless. Let's just drop the rook back. If the silver moves, I can hit this potentially. Um, I'm, I guess I'm trying to bait them into pushing this pawn forward, because I don't see that doing anything useful for the opponent. But, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing here. It'd be great to find an excellent square for my bishop. I just don't see one. Um, hmm. Okay. They have a very strong castle. Oh, but this nice knight is loose. Um... Depending on my risk tolerance, I might just... Well, if I drop the pawn, they have to move up. Um, and if I don't drop the pawn, they could move their rook here first. But that, that sets up tactics that they don't want. Um, yeah, let's make some room for my bishop. I've got time for this. They can shuffle as much as they want to shuffle here. Uh, potentially they could drop a pawn here to try to win a pawn. That looks risky. Uh, but yeah, if they drop here and if I take, Rick takes. If I drop, they can take here. Getting this side pawn capture opening that they are so fond of. Um... Actually, no. If they take this, my gold goes advances. So, yeah, even though this app flashed side pawn capture, side pawn picker, right before the game, we could see our opponent's favorite strategy, the one they perform the best with. But, um, yeah, here, if they actually try to snatch the pawn, my gold and silver and snare this rook here. Then maybe that's okay yeah, and per, from their perspective. Maybe they're okay exchanging a rook for one of these pieces if they get to continue attacking. The problem is, I don't know that this is a shape that defends their king and allows them lots of attacking possibilities. Um, also, we're debating about if they push this pawn, which earlier I said I was trying to bait them into doing, but now if they do it, maybe my silver advances, we exchange, and it gets really messy. Uh, despite my threatening a silver drop here, I don't think I have time to do that. What I was trying to do is advance my knight so that in the event that my rook does get to the fifth row, it can swing over here and we can exchange rooks. If this knight's somehow magically moved on. So my thought process was incorrect. We'll see how incorrect everything else is. <laughs> That's a defensive move. I can't blame them. It's not a bad one. So that was half my process, was um, trying to give my rook somewhere to go. The other half I forgot about is that I don't want the silver moving up. So I've dealt with the silver moving up threat. Um, if I exchange silvers, they drop a silver back here. And that's no good. Therefore, oh, we're going to play the forced retreat. And try to be happy about it. There is a hole here. The silver doesn't have anywhere to go, but they could just move this up. 
And then suddenly they've got... Oh! Three pawn. But they've got another pawn. I did not foresee this at all. Okay. What do I do? How did I get here? Um... Wow, I just... This is not good. <laughs> this is super no bueno. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, the knight's loose. So... Let's try this. A knight for a knight, perhaps? Oh, why did I think an exchange was forced here? It's clearly not. I mean, yeah, I can establish a pawn on 5-5, five five, but... Uh, this is not my best thought-out combination ever. I was considering pushing this pawn. I think I still am. Yeah, so I'm trying to save my knight. I'm trying to give my bishop somewhere to go. But now their knight's protected. But I've taken this point, and my knight has somewhere to go. Hooray. I'm about to get decked here. This is going to hurt a lot. Um... Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. And then the silver drops. And I get decked. But I've got some initiative. Oh! What's this? I mean, yeah, they've got a lot of pawns too. That seems unnecessary. This allows their bishop to activate with the gain of time, but... Uh, well, this is something. Um, what a turn of events. Right, my gold general is hanging. Um, all right, I'm going to block their bishop. Yes, that does more than just blocking the bishop. I recognize that, but first of all, it does block the bishop. Let's check. Now comes the hard part. Um, hmm. Okay, I block the bishop. So my gold is responsible for this square and this square. And to some degree, it's also responsible for this square. Thumping. That's where our opponent does this drop. Uh, if I take that, yeah, I'm in trouble. So back I go. Okay, I'm still in trouble, but let's pretend I'm not. Uh, no, my imagination's not quite that good. Uh, okay. Yeah, this... My imagination is going to run out here in a second. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, this could be fun. Ish. Um, <laughs> I 
against conventional wisdom. Um, yeah, they think they should have done silver takes pawn. But yeah, my gold Nifu. is hanging. Um, I had a point here. I promise I had some point. I don't forget. I don't remember what the point was. But I did have a point here. Somewhere. I guess it doesn't matter now, does it? Oh, wow. That's crazy. Um... What is my opponent doing? I just need to move. My excuse for losing is that I'm going to lose on time, but it's really that I just didn't know what I was doing. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm playing with fire. That was a free bishop, wasn't it? Not quite. It's exciting. Who doesn't enjoy playing with fire? Um... 20 seconds.
Thanks for the game. Well played. Nicely done. I did not attack correctly. And like I said, the reason I'm going to keep trying this opening is because I'm going to learn it. And, uh, yep, yeah, we'll get there. Good luck. We are going to figure this out eventually. I guess one step is that I need to remember is always use this bishop early. And that it's quite difficult for this attack to work if I don't use my bishop early. I guess also taking the 5-5 five five point is pretty important, and I failed to do that here. Uh, this is kind of fun. Let's do it. And just drop it back here. I've done this before, or something quite similar. Uh, this knight jump is special. This knight jump means the bishop doesn't have many spaces, so I'm actually going to try to trap the bishop on the square. Um... So, the opponent was forced to drop this pawn. Um, yeah, I mean, this is somewhat sketchy on my part, but, you know, it's how I do. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> There's the bald Mino avatar uh, or effect. That was pretty cool. So, yep, their rook drops back and is just as powerful, or even more powerful without the pawn there. It's at least as effective as it used to be, maybe more so. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Oh, wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. Sure, I'll bring my rook over this way. Why not? This is where the party is, right? So... Um... There's Mino. Pushing this only encourages exchanges. Well, no, but it makes it difficult for them to repeatedly sack over here. I thought there's nothing to take. Um. My gold general might do some dancing here. I might even trade it for a knight and a pawn, depending on circumstances. Man, I am so ready to sack the house here, just to see what happens. I should not be this ready. Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
Here we go. This looks fun. Attack is the best defense. So, today we attack. I was going to drop a pawn on 5-5, five five, but I'm severely outnumbered on 5-5. Five five. Um, here on 6-4, the numbers seem to benefit me, and this gives me inroads to other squares. Um, right, so pawn drop here. Knight takes, silver takes, silver takes. Ah, I don't have a majority on 5-5, five five, even if I take care. So, my big plan was to get a silver. And then with said silver, am, am I still outnumbered? I thought I was better, but apparently I'm not. Hmm. Well, we're going to fight anyway. I think they drop a pawn on one of these squares. I drop a pawn on the other square. I think I'm okay. And this all helps my rook become active. Um, so I think that's my plan. It's kind of a mess, but I think I've read it correctly. That... Now I'm finally on top of this numbers game. It was difficult reading this out, and I hope I didn't mess up. But now I've got a pawn and another piece contributing here. So, how bad can this be? Go for uh, I should take that, right? Yeah, if I take, I'm attacking a bishop. So where's the fault in this idea? And then I drop back? Or do I take that? The knight's not defending the king. The knight's just as much of a target as the king is. Um, and if I remove my gold, then I'm no better off than they are. So let's drop back. And hope that that's not a huge blunder. Same way that they dropped their rook back, I've dropped back my rook. Uh, yeah, they've taken this file. So congrats to them. But I think I get this square. And that's the one square I've been shooting for. And I think I finally get it. Not only do I get it, but also if I push here, I can drop another pawn and push here again. So it's pretty volatile. If I could remove the silver, this might be even more volatile than it already is. But yeah, I have three attacking. Potentially I'm going to drop a fourth piece to take the square. Um, I guess they could drop the silver to defend against my entire attack, and I'd have to come up with another idea. Uh, or yeah, they could use that piece, which gives up the entire corner, but who cares? Uh, I could push a pawn and exchange my knight. I'm not crazy about that idea. Um, hmm. Let's let's maybe not lose my king in the middle of all this. So that's funny. The best attack 
or the best attack is the best defense. Here I'm playing a purely defensive move. Um, so, so much for the proverb. Uh, well, they've blocked their bishop. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. I have four attackers, so I do this. Next drop is over there. All right. Um, the silver is out in no man's land. I don't need it. I will, however, take this bishop or this gold. That helps helps me approach faster. They do have this. They could win my rook. It's fine. I wasn't using the rook anyway. Uh, this is a bit dangerous still. Uh, if I go sideways, they could drop a gold here, but then they can't take my rook anymore without some kind of Something. consequence. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm in deeper doo-doo than I thought. Uh, this knight is joining the attack beautifully. Hmm. So, yeah, this might be difficult to defend. If they bring the knight forward first. How do... Well, then I have to stop this check. Yeah, so this silver drop was terrible in summary. And any defensive move would have been better than that one. So now they can take my pieces, or they could bring the knight up, and then bring the knight up again. Um, it stings. But experience is the best teacher, isn't it? If you don't believe the proverbs, they shape your mind after the game, if not before it. Yeah, I saw this coming. This didn't concern me so much. Um, oh, other than they've got mate and one the next move. Maybe that is concerning. Hmm. Interesting. Well, um, All right, show us the mate. It's beautiful and instructive. Here's your chance. All right. Thanks for the game. I missed that mate too. Nicely done. All right, two games down, one to go. Uh, to my opponent's credit, I'll say also, this is being played like when it's morning time in Japan, or good luck, very early morning time. You can see on the map there. These players know what they're doing. They don't have to figure it out. They know. They're good. So, yeah. Experience is a great teacher. Um, well, I accidentally misclicked that, but also... Yeah, okay, actually I do want to do this. Okay, okay. Let's have some fun. I can't resist. This is too much fun to resist. Um, what should I do? Everything is hanging. Let's take this one first. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I guess take this one next. They block their bishop, so then we go back. And, yeah, let's go back to the center. They don't have a pawn to defend. So, 
Uh, yeah, this is... I'm having fun. Alright, we'll castle a little bit. Why not? Boop, there we go. And launch an attack on this side of the board. What's our next proverb, eh? What have we got today? Without attack, there's no chance of winning. All right, that's fair. That's perhaps the strictest criticism of my play over many, many episodes. I just fail to do a convincing attack. And it's really the attack that gives you a chance at winning. You could come up with clever defenses all day, like my silver drop, but yeah, if you don't attack, it's just not going to work out. So I've now left my bishop not defended, and this provokes something from the opponent. Um, I thought I had that covered. Maybe I don't. Oh, hang on. There's an attack. This can draw back the silver. Ah, uh, yeah. They play the common sense retreat. Bummer. I was hoping for some extremely feisty play here, but nope. We're just going to calm things down a bit. Yep. So now I'll defend the bishop so I can move the silver again. Here we go. I don't care if your rook promotes. I'm not so concerned about that right now. Not when I can get your king. So I'm threatening a silver drop here. I'm threatening a pawn drop there. Maybe I have a bishop drop somewhere on this board. There are about 60 squares that don't have a piece on the square. So perhaps one of those 60 is good. I don't know. Um... Sure, let's take a pawn. This looks safe. <laughs> all right, all right. So be it. Um, I'll just take this fork then. Start here. And then having taken that, we'll drop the bishop next and mop up the rest of the pieces some other time. Um... It's fine. If they don't want to let my rook promote, I guess I can live with that. Uh, let's push a pawn on the king's head to keep this exciting. And then use the knight, and yep, here we go. This might be a slow attack, but I don't foresee my opponent doing anything faster. Um, let's see. I mean, that's hanging, but... Well, my rook could try to make use of that hanging, couldn't it? My rook can jump over here. Sure. Let's live it up. Why not? I predict you're going to do this fork here, because it's the fun thing to do. And my fun response is going to be, I'm going to try to promote my rook over here. Well, actually, the rook protects this pawn, too. Now, the, that was unintentional, but kind of nice. Now I'm looking all smart. Other than, like, there being a bishop drop here that just ends my hopes and dreams. If we just ignore that for a minute, and just... We can remark on how beautiful this is. Uh, but yeah, this bishop drop might ruin my day. Bummer. Oh, actually, no, this is hanging. That's complicated, isn't it? So maybe they do rook takes to protect the hanging silver... And maybe I... I don't know. I'll do something. 
Maybe I do a gold drop here and they take two generals and I get a rook. Nah. We don't do any of that. Um. Alright, we'll take one of these. Why not? Uh, oh, man. Attack this and see if they defend it. If they defend it, that's going to be... They'd have to drop a piece to protect this square somehow. They might drop a bishop in front of it. They might drop a gold behind it or aside it or in front. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if they defend this, then maybe I push the pawn up and move the rook behind the pawn. But I'm not. They're not going to give me two free moves. They're also threatening to retreat the silver, thereby ensnaring my knight. So my knight's threatening to jump up right now and drop another pawn here. Lots and lots of threats exist in this position. Um, maybe I should take care not to like allow a bishop and knight checkmate like I allowed last game. Maybe. I could also drop a pawn here. They'd have to do gold takes. Um, hmm. I don't know that that helps me. It can't hurt, but I don't think it can help either. Well, if it's hanging, I get another free tempo somewhere else. It's not so bad. Yeah. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. All right, my knight's attacked, so let's move the knight. Maybe they expected me to move the rook instead? All right, we'll take a bishop. Otherwise, the bishop would take here once I take it. So I've got two bishops, a silver, a gold, a hope, and a dream. Um, hmm. Now, if I drop here, they do gold takes. Oh, that's not bad, though. Gofun. Here we go. That should be very good, unless I allow a bishop and knight checkmate. But they need a gold for a bishop and knight to mate me. They need three pieces. They'll have the knight. They Oh, they don't even have the bishop. So I'm just paranoid because of last game. Um, But yeah. Two pawns right next to the king is pretty nice. We'll take it. I think I've got this one in the bag. So, having said that, let's witness how I jinxed it. Let's check. Um, that's a rook if they escape my threats. So at each point I have to negotiate. It's not me announcing that I have a checkmate. It's saying, are you going to let me checkmate you or are you going to give me a rook? I have to be patient and negotiate and eventually I'll get my way with skilled negotiation. If I just try to outright checkmate them, they'll escape this somehow. But if I give them decisions, uh, each step will have to figure out what the right uh, exchange is. Yeah, so the king escapes. 
do I drop another bishop somewhere? Or do... I don't think I mate. So... Yeah, I think we just take the rook. I think that's fine. So I'm threatening a rook drop. King up, bishop mate. Um... Yeah, so it's difficult for me to be patient because the pros get to play these awesome checkmating sequences and like their attack always works out. That's what it is. In my case, I have to be a bit more patient and I'll get the hang of that eventually, won't I? Enough losses will teach me the right way forward. Very nice. I think that's three games for today. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.